everybody. Welcome back. It's Gina. Um, I've had a couple of people show some interest in uh, me working with the gel plate. Um, so I thought today we'll just play around. I'll show you what I've learned, and I'm no expert. I'm learning myself, but I thought you might want to see some of the stuff that I've um, that I've made. That I'm 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 getting pretty happy with these prints. Um, this is probably the, the one that's come out the nicest. Um, now the other thing I would say, for practice, I've just been using the cheap copy paper and I know that makes a difference because when I worked with it uh, a couple weeks back I used my presentation paper and that is much much nicer but I thought while I'm playing around I'll just use the cheap uh, copy paper but you can see and I just thought today I would share with you and these didn't come out as nice but just I played around a little bit and, and you can see I just got some some different um, prints and I really am happy with that one. Um, this was another one just kind of playing with that and then this one. This was we're using some paint along with the um, Distress Oxide inks. So um, I apologize for the camera setup but this is the only way I knew how to do it. Um, so it's going to be at an angle, unfortunately, and I know there's going to be some shadow, but there's just there's not much I can do about that, guys. Let me just make sure I'm in frame. So definitely, um, the results are going to be much, much better if you use uh, the 120 GSM presentation paper, which is what I normally print on. So let's just get started. Um, I got, I've got the milled lavender. And I'm gonna, this is just Distress Ink, and I actually, to be completely honest, thought that's what I was ordering when I ordered, um, I ordered a few more colors, but they came in and they're the Distress Oxide, and I'm not a fan of this, I'm, I've got to be honest, but, but I'm going to use them, you know, I'm, I'm not going to let them just sit here. <laughs> I'm not a person for keeping supplies that I'm not using. I just, because my space is so small, I don't have the luxury of uh, just keeping things around that I'm not going to be using. So I thought, well, I've got to learn and play with these some. Um, so <laughs> the other thing I did, because I told you I don't have any of the large... Um, stencils and I just haven't been prepared to invest any more in it at the moment so what I did isn't that fantastic this is card uh, craft cardstock I ran it through the embosser and I've actually been using this to leave the impression but look at how beautiful that's coming out and I'm just thinking I'm gonna probably spend a day just um, cutting some of these out because I think these will make beautiful journal cards and pockets. <laughs> so there you go. That wasn't planned at all. I just was using them to take up the ink off of the press. So what you got to do with this, you're going to have a tendency to want to push this down really hard. Don't do it. It'll just end up just a big blotch. So just very lightly lay that and just gently kind of pat that because all you want to do is just leave that impression and do be careful that you don't press that line down um, because if you do that it's going to show when you um, pick that up. So just super light because I was really pressing it uh, when I started this and that is a no-no. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our first Print. And the reason I'm saying that is because I've found that I like to come back and layer it and then I can add some different colors in because I don't want to mix my inks um, on the press. I know some people do, but... So there's the first print that would come out. Isn't that beautiful? 
And what you're going to find is, is uh, as you're doing this, you can clean these, but you will find that you'll always have a little bit. See, there's some of the green left, which I'm super excited about because that's still pulling that out, and I just love that. So, so it's just been so much fun. So the next thing, I'm going to go ahead and take the milled lavender again. And this time I'm going to use mostly this. And then um, there's some of this old paper, which is a like a minty green. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that around. And then you take the brayer, and the brayer is to get those lines out. And because otherwise, if you laid that straight on there right now, you would end up with a square like the ink pad, and you don't want that. So but I just want a little bit of green to come. And then I just kind of go over it in different directions, just trying to get all of those lines out because they will show if you don't do that. And now I've got this, um, this script stamp. So again, I'm just going to take and lightly, you're just trying to pull that ink back off so that it will, hopefully this will show. I've not used that one yet. It should, it should work, but I haven't used that particular stamp yet. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, it did pull up some of the green, but it did not show that. Okay, so let's try it again now. It's something different. I've got, um, well, let's just use the same one, but what I'm going to do this time is just ink this and put it on the, um, the press. And I'm going to use, I think I'll use the same thing. I'll use the old paper. Hopefully, that will work. And you're probably saying, well, why don't you just directly stamp onto it? Because I think what I've found is if you stamp on it direct, like you would normally stamp, um, it's very bold, whereas this seems to, I don't know, it almost seems to make it kind of blend into the background for some reason. Now that did not pull that up, so that's very, I'm very curious about that. I mean, you can see really faintly, but not that much, and I'm just wondering, I won't mix that. Um, let me try one, this is the postage stamp, let me try it with the um, Dusty Concord, I love this color. Just going to see if that will come out maybe a little bit more. It should. And in addition to that, I'm also going to use a. I've got this flower stamp. I'm going to ink that up and have that in there as well. Smudge that. Use the wrong block. Oh goodness. Yeah. Oh well. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it like that. So.
Oh yeah, that look, now that looks pretty. Can you see how that's just starting to, you, you just start getting more and more depth to it, and I love that. Yeah, I really, really happy with that one. So I'm going to sit that over because I'm very happy with that one. I'll leave that one. Okay, um, let's just go ahead. I'm going to see if there's... So you can see there's still some ink there, but what I've been told is that you've got to add ink over that and it should lift it back off. So I'm going to give it a try and see. And this is just that really uh, light lavender, the milled lavender. I'm going to try to see if I can pull that back up. I want to do the um, magazine transfer, but I haven't found a really nice one to work with yet. Um, to show you guys, but I am I am intending to do that as a um, a video, a separate video, and with that one you'll need some paint. Um, but it's it's very dark and bold, so it's probably not going to appeal to most of you. Yeah, so it's still I don't know if it's going to show up. You can still see very faintly the um, stamped flower image and it, it'll just keep pulling that out but we'll go over that again because I want to add more and I'm going to try a little bit of this green this is the crushed olive be too much. I might have added too much green to it this time, but okay, and so now. I'm just going to take it off this time. I'm not adding ink to the stamp. I'm just going to take the, the ink that's on there off. And hopefully that'll leave a really nice impression. And again, my little piece of paper. Let's take a little bit more off. And then I'm just taking the same one that we did the first one. Okay. So you can see. I like it, but I'm not mad on that. It's turned kind of a gold, so I think I'm going to add another layer of it. And this is the spun sugar. hope I don't mess this up by doing this. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit more of that old paper. Hopefully I can get that, a little bit of that in there. Yeah, I've just really enjoyed this. Um, it's one of the funnest things I've, I've done in a while uh, because it's so different um, to anything I've I've been doing, you know, for the last couple of years has all been very um, journal specific. But this <clears throat> this is going to make some beautiful background papers, I think, for the journals. But I also like the fact that I can see this for um, 
card backgrounds, just a lot of things. I really, um, it's just very relaxing. Oh, that, that went too dark, didn't it? Mmm, okay, well, let's try it again. Why not? Try with just the green. Okay, so now let's try to take off a little bit more. Yeah, I may have just uh, went one layer too many on this one. We'll try it, see if I can improve it again. Yeah. That's just getting really muddied now. Okay, well that's interesting. So I would say two, two layers. Just clean that off a little bit. Okay, let's try some different colors this time. Let's go with um, let's just go with greens, but really soft greens and then I'll try to get some um, Okay, I've just got this this little stamp. I think with the greens that might be pretty for like a nature. Okay, now that's interesting. Look at that. I don't know why it got that crack. Oh, because I had the paper. That's why. The paper had kind of creased there, but I think that's really cool. Alright, so I'll go one more. Um, just trying to keep in the same colors. I need a larger brayer, I know that. Um, I've seen uh, most of the people are using a much larger one, so I definitely got to invest in that as well. But, like I said, I wasn't sure. I thought, oh, before this gets crazy, um, I want to make sure I'm going to enjoy it, and I do. So, <laughs> as soon as I get the chance, I'm going to try to get some larger stencils. I'm not mad on the... Um, I've played around with the paints, and I'll be honest, I'm not crazy about the paints yet. Um, I'm going to use a different, but there again, it, it could just be the colors that I've been working with.
Okay, so there you can see very soft, very subtle, but that is what I like. Um, and I think that that's very different to probably most of what you've seen online, and that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, you know, what I've been playing around with, and and then there's this one. I, I just love it when it comes out like that. That's really my favorite there. And, like I said, these, I'm just loving those. I can't wait to get some of these. I'm going to make some journal cards and some pockets out of these for sure. And that's on the craft card stock, so that gives a beautiful... Beautiful color. Mm. Okay, guys, so that's what I wanted to share with you. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that it's um, kind of giving you some ideas. If you've got one, maybe that's been sitting on the shelf for a while and you haven't had it out to play with, maybe you'll um, you'll be encouraged and inspired to, to pull it out <clears throat> and give it a try. All right, guys, that's it for today. Take care, and thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you guys here very soon. Bye.